expecting to walk in here and see my wife awake. And you're sorry. Start looking for another job. Zach. And not as a nurse. I will have your license revoked. And I will make sure that we'll never work in a hospital again. Please, I didn't... Get out. I want it fired. Bring me the chief of staff. Sir. What? First he tries to kill my wife, and now the stupid nurse doesn't even know who to call? Get your boy down. Or what? Or what? Hey, hey, hey. Guys, listen, I got this. Zach. Zach, come on. Come on, I know you're upset. But this is the ICU. You can't. Zach. Zach. What happened? One of the nurses called to tell us that Kendall was awake. But it turned out that it was another coma patient. It was Rebecca. I'm so sorry, Bianca. Oh, that's me. When I, when I asked Amy to page the neuro, I didn't give her the name of a patient. Yeah, it, it, it was a mix-up. Uh, have a seat, please. No, no, I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine. Listen, do you want me to talk no, to you? No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. She is beautiful. Like her mommy. Gabrielle looks like her other mommy. Bianca carried her. Oh. And by the way, we're getting married. So, um... How, how are you liking Pine Valley? I, um... I tell you that... We're going to get married, and um, I don't even get a congratulations, so when's the wedding? <laughs> right, right? You don't want to know, right? And you definitely don't want Mom to know, because she'd hit the roof. Well, don't worry about it, Dad. We're, we're not putting an announcement in the New York Times. Reese, don't do this. Don't do what? Don't. I didn't do anything. All I did was fall in love. Look, I'm not proud of the way your mother and I reacted to... To my coming out, my telling you that I am a lesbian. Um, <laughs> you can't even say the but word. All I'm asking is that you try to understand. Oh, I understand. I understand, Mom, perfectly. But you, you, how you could just sit there and, and not do anything. You could have finally stood up to her. You could have finally done that, but you just, you just went along with it. I was afraid you'd get hurt. The world is full of prejudice, and I wanted to protect you from that cruelty. I wanted to spare you that pain. Well, guess what, Dad? You didn't. You didn't, because you are the one that hurt me the most. And I thought that you loved me. I do. I love you. And I've missed you. I've missed my little girl so much. So sorry. I think it's a good sign. If another patient woke up, then so can Kendall. She fought back before. She'll do it again. I wish you could believe that. Why don't we tell her about decorating the tree? Oh. Um. I just want to be alone with my wife for a minute. Can I do that? I don't think that's the best idea. I'll behave. Please. Hi, handsome. 
You miss me? <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have uh, told you that it was time to let go. Hey, she signed that DNR report. You guys were just trying to help me accept, you know, what she wanted. And so were you. I understand. And maybe taking her off that machine is what brought her back. I don't know what I would have done without you guys. You're never going to have to worry about that. Oh, what's past is past. She's back. That's all that matters. Um, I'm supposed to have this photo shoot over at Fusion, but I can really try and postpone it. No, it's cool. Go ahead. You sure? Yeah. Well, I think I'm gonna go with Randy, so we'll check in with you later. How is she? All things considered, she's doing great. Can we go in and see her? Yes, of course. She seems to be compensating for the cancer quite well. I don't foresee any sudden dramatic deterioration at this point. Thank you. Sure. What the hell happened? The patient revived after she was extubated. It was a miracle. <laughs> so you got what you wanted. What? That patient signed an order saying she did not want to be resuscitated. Yet you violated it. And now she's here among the living. We took her off the machine. Well, she never should have been on in the first place. You pull a stunt like that again, and I'll make sure you lose your medical license. You do not tell me how to do my job. You are not my boss. You are not even a doctor. Excuse now, me? you may have the degrees and the skills, but you don't help people. You only destroy them. But you will not destroy me, my career, or the people I care about. And you know what? You better stay out of my way. Got it? David is going through a rough time, just like we are. He's using you to get his hands on little Adam. Well, that is never going to happen because I am not going to let it. What do you mean? It's already happening. Tad leaves you, run to Hayward. I like it or not, little A is his grandson. He loves that little boy. He just wants to spend some time with him. Is that so awful? Oh, my God. Listen to me. I, I, I am defending him. See? He's already getting to you. It's... It's babe, okay? I don't like it, but there is that connection. And he wants you to believe that. You know, until five minutes ago, he was on the other side of the world. Now he's smack dab in the middle of your marriage and your life, and he's feeding you all sorts of garbage about how you have this deep bond. Like, if I were you, I'd walk away while I still can. JR, he has been so patient and caring, and I, I actually feel better around him. Yeah, scotch makes me feel better all the time. I can't go near it. I'm being careful. And the truth is, and I know how this sounds, but the truth is, I really think he's changed. Are you insane? Don't do this to Tad. I am not doing anything to Tad. What do you think he's going to say when he finds out you spent half the night with Hayward? He won't. Why not? I mean, if nothing's going on, why would you care if he knew? Because he won't understand, just like you don't understand, J.R., so don't make things worse. Fine. I won't tell him. But you will. As soon as he comes through that door, you're going to come clean about everything. That is not going to happen. No matter what Hayward says or does... I'm never going to believe that he's changed. He's still an evil, vindictive son of a bitch who wants the Martins and the Chandlers to suffer. That's his mission. He 
he's not even close to done. So you need to tell Tad so he can protect his family. Because if you don't, I will. Ooh. What's wrong now? Cold. I left my kitty sweater at home. Will you get it? I'll go. If you promise to be a good little girl and stay right here. Mm-hmm.